to capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. All right, last thing, helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right, the mini-sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, lads. Yeah. That's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open. Looks like a lift. They must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything. Metal. Hmm. It's 
darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. Where's all this coming from? How big is this place? Big. It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh... How much air does this suit have again? Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentonex put it through more stress... Okay, um... Another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In-suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Hm. Why not what not? Nope. Not on these flippers. through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait, are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan, it's lovely. Cl Out, little birds, soothing. <laughs> Very funny. There she is, the moon. Pride of Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk, but good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought 
thought she might come in handy. You'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. First lock removed. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or...? No. This is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna sit for a second. It's, uh, this is all. Hey, 
Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually okay, cozy. Does, um, is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but he'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm, pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrend employees. Uh-huh. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway... Now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Ah, hey. Come on. Last guy must have left it behind. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> uh, is this thing on? Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. I should probably check in with Emma. Exposed. Good job I'm alone. Seems kind of redundant, given, you know, bottom of the ocean and all. Well, this is damn right hospitable. TV and everything. Ah, damn things frozen shut. That could be an issue. Weather off the coast continues to be unseasonally calm. Great news for the local sailing regatta set to start tomorrow morning. Guess this thing's my only company down here. Not having Emma around is... It's gonna take some time getting used to. I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here.
Hmm. A little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You you said you needed space, right? And I needed space. So so yeah, this is space. Uh, just the, Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the the line should be fixed by now. But yeah, it's you know Trent. So. Who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should. You should get to bed. Who is this for? I'm the only one down here, and they already bagged me. Guess I'm responsible for you guys now. Big day tomorrow? Let's get some shut eye. This isn't right. This isn't. Why is this here? Where did this come from? Stay down here in bad dreams already. This'll come in handy. Should anything untoward happen? <laughs> 